directly come dancing's fifth live show of the series hit BBC One on Saturday evening, with the 12 couples set to face the third public vote of the series. The celebrities were forced to up their game as the show celebrated 100 years of the BBC with a special themed week, as the couples danced to some of the most loved tracks from the channel's iconic programs. Helen Skelton was lauded for her phenomenal performance as she came in joint top place with Hamza Yassin, with them both scoring an impressive 35 points, but sadly Tony Adams' multiple missteps caused him to come in bottom place with 19. Strictly kicked off with the professionals prancing through the BBC studios to celebrate the broadcaster's 100th birthday as they danced through 14 BBC shows with 35 BBC stars, in the most ambitious group performance yet. Helen, who presented Blue Peter for five years, joined her partner Gorka Marquez to dance the Charleston to the legendary children's program theme tune, which was praised by all four judges. Head judge Shirley Ballas gave the duo a standing ovation and praised their phenomenal routine, while Anton Dubeka said it was her best dance yet. Motsi praised the high-level, high-quality performance and even Craig Revel Horwood was blown away, adding, This is the best I've seen you dance, as Helen was awarded her highest score yet. Elsewhere, cameraman Hamza blew the judges away as he performed the quick step to Imagine Dragons hit song on top of the world, to honor his work on natural history documentaries and love for Mother Nature. Speaking ahead of the show, he said, Saturday night, what can I say, I blinked, I opened my eyes and everyone was going bonkers there was some amazing comments from the judges. I really want to do well in this dance just to show the rest of the world how much Mother Nature means to me. Alongside his professional partner Jovita Gistal, they transformed the ballroom into the Arctic for their amazing performance, they scored a total of 35. But unfortunately, some must come at the bottom of the leaderboard, and this week it was Tony, who scored just 19 points for his cha-cha-cha. Dancing alongside his partner Katya Jones to the theme of the long-standing sports program, Grandstand, Tony joked that they would receive a grandstand ovation. However, his dreams were thwarted when Craig exclaimed, It reminded me of a scene from Death Becomes Her Actually, where Meryl Streep falls down the stairs and comes back with her head on the other way around, Darling, I've never seen anything like that. Tony's routine also left head judge Shirley speechless with his missteps as she added, You are a ray of sunshine, but below the knee it just rains, they scored a total of 19, with 3 points from Craig. Fleuriste and Vito Coppola celebrated Eurovision, dancing the jive to Abbas Waterloo, as the UK and Italy teamed up for one night only. The duo dazzled in 70s-themed ensembles as they mirrored the Swedish supergroup, with the singer admitting, I thought I had a really good fitness level but this dance is really, really challenging. Craig criticized Fleur footwork, claiming that she was a little heavy-footed, however, all the judges agreed that the singer had improved dramatically, they scored 32. James By went back to Albert Square with his partner Amy Dowden as they danced the Foxtrot to Julia's theme from popular BBC soap, EastEnders. Speaking before an emotional James said, I was scaffolding, I was doing a bit of everything really to put food on the table, then EastEnders came along and I was so proud, that's all down to EastEnders really. Tearing up after their performance, he added, it means the world, honestly, to represent my family over there. Before the BBC gave me a contract I was struggling with work, I have family and kids and to represent you tonight. Well I put a lot of pressure on myself, they scored 26. 
Tyler West and Diane Buswell, danced the tango to the Doctor Who theme tune, with the radio presenter taking on the role of the Time Lord and the professional dancer, a weeping angel, they scored 32. Speaking after the performance Tyler revealed it had been a busy week for him, as he jetted off to his brother's wedding for a total of 2 hours and 45 minutes before flying back to the UK for rehearsals. Before the live show, Molly Reinford went back to the Sylvia Young Theatre School to meet the current pupils and show them her routine. The actress and her professional partner Carlos danced a couple's choice routine to the Grange Hill theme song, clad in school uniforms. Molly explained that through her dance routine, she was hoping to show how much Grange Hill meant to her, they scored 30 after impressing the judges. Ellie Simmons and her professional partner Nikita Kuzman danced the Paso Doble to the Apprentice theme tune, taking part in a funny sketch beforehand. It's usually about being fierce and strong but this dance isn't about that, it's more emotional, the Olympic star admitted, I want to go to that next level and really step up my game. Nikita it's such a dream to have someone who wants to get better and work so hard to do well in this competition, she said, they were awarded a score of 30 from the judges. Ellie Taylor and her partner Johannes Radebe took the audience to Andy as they danced the tango to the casualty theme tune. Clad in blue scrubs, they scored a total of 29. Jade Adams paid tribute to British comedy royalty Victoria Wood as she danced the Charleston to her song Barry and Frida, Let's Do It. She was a childhood hero, we watched her growing up, Jade explained. They scored 28 for their routine. Elsewhere, Will Miller and Nancy Shu interrogated each other as they prepared to pay tribute to hit BBC drama Line of Duty. The actor promised Nancy he would bring her the show's elusive character H if she got him an 8 from Craig. The duo danced the Viennese waltz with Judge Anton exclaiming that Will was back on form following last week's performance where he came second to last on the leaderboard. Shirley advised, I can tell you are 100% in this, Will and you want to get to the final but remember if you push too hard and go off balance you will struggle. It means a lot for me just being here, last week was tough, I probably overdid it, I just wanted to give it my all but I am happy with what we did, Will said, they scored 32. Kim Marsh and Graziano de Prima honored come dancing with a quick step, she said, I've got fire in my belly and I've got to do it for Angela Rippon. Angela introduced the couple as they took to the dance floor to perform to the ballroom blitz with a live band. Shirley said, I've had a trip down memory it was beautiful, I had a dress just like that when I was on come dancing when I was 17. But it was a bit loosey-goosey today. I felt you were lacking a bit of self-confidence today maybe next week we will see you back to your confident self, Anton added. Kim told host Claudia Winkleman, I felt pretty confident going in. I've had a dodgy day when it comes to confidence levels today but the team and everybody here has just picked me up so I can't thank you all enough for that. It's really lovely to have everyone's support. We honestly can't thank anyone enough and being in the dance-off last week was horrible but we wanted to come out fighting, they scored 27 points. Strictly Come Dancing continues on BBC One at 6.45pm on Sunday, when one more couple will be eliminated from the contest, 